All right, here's our first example of the topic, calculating and using the molar mass of elements. And the question says the chemist weighed out 101 grams of gallium. Calculate the number of moles of gallium she weighed out. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, of course, we're gonna always start with what's given. And the only bit of information we are given is that we have 101 grams of gallium. If you look at your periodic table, Gallium is, uh, has an element symbol of GA, uh, atomic number 31, and an atomic mass of 69.723. So what they're asking us to do is convert from a mass of gallium in, in, in grams to moles. Gallium. This is essentially a conversion uh, problem, and we are converting from grams to moles. So we have to ask ourselves do we have the conversion factors needed to get from grams to moles? What conversion factor will get you from grams to moles? That is molar mass. Molar mass is the conversion factor that will allow you to convert from grams to moles or moles to grams. Look at the units of molar mass. The units of molar mass for gallium, for example, the molar mass of gallium is 69.723, and the units are grams per mole. Molar mass is numerically equivalent to atomic weight. So if I look at the periodic table, this is the atomic weight or average atomic mass of gallium. So the molar mass of gallium is the same number, but the units instead of AMUs, is grams per mole. So there are this many grams of gallium in one mole of gallium. The units, grams per mole, you see how the units of this um, molar mass value correspond to our starting and our end point. So that's how I know that this one conversion factor is all I need. So to do the conversion, Let's uh, start out with 101 grams of gallium. I'm gonna input my one and only conversion factor that I need, and grams will go on the bottom, 69.723 grams per one mole of gallium. Gra grams of gallium. If I check my units, grams, councils, and moles of gallium is what I'm left with. So placing it into the calculator, 101 divided by 69.723 gives me 1.44859 moles of gallium. We're limited to three significant digits. So rounded, this would be 1.45 moles of gallium. And there is our answer. We can kind of check ourselves. Conceptually, this should make sense. If the molar mass of gallium is 69.7 grams, meaning that's how many grams are in one mole of gallium, if I have 100 grams, 101 grams, that's more than 69, so I should have greater than one mole. As a matter of fact, it's almost um, halfway to two moles. So uh, 101 grams is greater than 69, but uh, about halfway uh, to, to two moles, which would be somewhere around 140 grams. So yeah, 1.45 moles is about right.